Hello, this is Vern. And if you've ever wondered, when is the best time to figure out what a man is looking for without scaring him away? Well, stick around because I'm going to be sharing that with you on my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to come. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I am very excited to be sharing with you when should you find out if what a guy is looking for without scaring him away. I hear this challenge, this question, this confusion from so many women that I decided to create a video for you today because I think there's a misconception that, that if you ask a guy early on what he's looking for, that he's going to feel that you're desperate or needy and run away. And there's ways of asking that question that don't make you sound needy because you're not coming from a needy place, but ultimately the best time to ask those questions is as early on as possible in the dating process. Here's why I say that. Because if, if a guy knows what he's looking for, he's not going to be scared to express and say it, to say it to you. If he doesn't know what he's looking for, or if he doesn't want what you're looking for, then he's probably gonna feel a lot more uncomfortable. So what I mean by that is, if, if, if you connect with a guy and you ask those questions early on and you find out he's looking for something serious, then you start investing time in that relationship as he starts pursuing you. If he wants, if he's unclear about it, uh, or if worse off, he doesn't want that and he's telling you to your face, yeah, I'm not looking for something serious or I'm never interested in getting married or I sure as hell don't want children and that's something that's very important to you, the, the fact that you ask that question early on will significantly, drastically, immensely reduce your chances of wasting your time. That's the first reason why you need to ask this early on. Second, because uh, a guy who knows what he wants is not scared to express it. Uh, that's the second reason, right? Because if you ask the question open-endedly, not, do you want to marry me a year from now? Who the fuck knows that, right? He doesn't know you. He doesn't know, uh, so that's not the way to ask it. But if you ask a guy, what do you think? What are you looking for in a relationship? He should be able to tell you what he's looking for. And if he doesn't, then he's in that category, at least of men who is not clear on what he wants, right? But if he says, well, I'm looking for this, this and that and something serious, that tells you something. You can also ask a guy, what do you think about marriage? You're not saying, will you marry me? No, but you're saying, what do you think about marriage? The guy could say, you know what? Uh, it's not for me. Or he can say, I'm interested in it. Or he can say, no, that's what I'm looking for. That will tell you something about what his intentions are, if not with you, with someone, right? You don't make it about yourself. You make it about in general in your life, dude, what are you looking for? And if he's clear about that, doesn't mean that it's 100% accurate, but you have a higher chance of getting what you want. Uh, third reason why you want to find out if a guy is looking for something serious and his thoughts on marriage, his thoughts on family, his thoughts on things that are important to you earlier on is because a guy who's serious about what he wants will not play games with you. He's not playing games. He has a clear mission. Whether it's you or someone else, that's a different story, but he has a clear mission for achieving a milestone and men are very focused on certain milestones, right? Now they do have to feel that compatibility, passion, and all those things. So it's not something that he would decide early on necessarily, yeah, it's you who I'm gonna marry, but he knows he's looking for that and he's filtering his prospects through those lenses of something serious. So uh, again, the way to make this work for you is to A, detach yourself from what he's going to say. You don't care what he says, you just want to know the answer to what, where he's at in life, if he, where he sees himself, what his time frame is for things. You combine hard questions with fun, playful questions, but you notice how he reacts. If you ask an open-ended question and he gets really scared, then guess what? You dodged a fucking bullet. <laughs> you stopped wasting time with someone who month number six was gonna tell you, hey, surprise, guess what? I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Wow, wouldn't you rather know that at the beginning rather than later on? If you find this is helpful, useful, insightful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. My dear, okay, number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you're gonna find a pop-up that allows you to sign up to a webinar that I'm hosting that will be sharing with you how you can find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. Uh, if you have any questions for me, place them on a comment below here. And as always, I challenge you to lead a full and a conscious life.